so my SD card thinks it's appropriate to start acting up on Thanksgiving Monday when everything is closed. And I'm in the middle of filming. Cool. This again. Take two. I want one of those clicky things. Okay. I'll be right back. I'll be right with you. How do I pause? I don't even know how to pause. Can I just pause? I have to like stop. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to do a get ready with me little chit chat video. I had some of my friends send in some questions through my Snapchat and the most common things was to talk about school because for those of you that aren't aware I am a student at Ryerson University. And then the other most common thing was an eyebrow tutorial. I really don't do anything special with my eyebrows, so not like a makeup artist, but I was like, you know what? Give the people what they want, you know? And then you guys can see how I do my eyebrows makeup and we can talk, you know? We can connect, y'all, we can connect. So it is Thanksgiving day. I'm not really going anywhere. I have a small family, so we're just gonna be at home with each other just you know giving thanks so i was like let me just do my makeup of course i can't make them lip straw so i'm going to use this vaseline here this one's the one with aloe vera but this from england shout out to the uk so it's just this and i just use my finger and all over the lips mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna get into it. Sorry, I'm trying to move my table. You can probably hear the noise. Sorry! I'm having a conversation yesterday with a good friend of mine, and he was like, A year ago, did you think that you would be here? And I was like, You know what? I really like hoped I would be at a certain place, but I definitely didn't think I would be here. So, if you're going through something, Keep pushing through, keep persevering, keep believing, keep manifesting in your mind what it is that you want, and just know like 365 days, you could be like somewhere so much better. Like, who knows? Who would have thought 365 days ago we would all be here? Like, I know you've all been through some stuff, but look, you're here, you're still alive, you got this, keep going. So, I'm gonna pull up one of these questions that I had my friends send me. So that I can talk whilst I do my brows. Transitioning to school after time off. So we're gonna start with that one, okay? So first off though, I'm gonna brush my eyebrows. I'm just using like this, honestly, it's just a really cheap brush from I think the dollar store or something. It has like a brush, oh, sorry, a brush on one side and a comb on the other. I usually just use the brush. And I'm gonna brush my eyebrows up and then make sure to brush it down. Everyone always asks like how do I get my brows like this? Honey, they grow upwards. I used to hate it and now I've just learned how to work it and yeah. Okay, so transitioning into school after time off. Honestly, I would say it is quite hard. Um, it's been quite an adjustment because I know myself, I took some time off after high school and now I am at Ryerson University as I mentioned earlier and you know what it is it's difficult a lot of people applauded me for going back because they're like you know what a lot of people say they're going to go back and don't actually end up going back so i'm trying to just look for my eyebrow um brush which for some reason i cannot find but a lot of people end up saying they'll go back and never actually go back just because i guess the money ends up being good if they're working or they kind of just lose motivation so I would definitely say going back is hard. It's just you need to have like a good sense of strong will. Like you just need to know what it is you want to study, what it is you want to do, and just go for it. Like you just can't make any excuses. And you kind of lose your social life, so it is a bit hard. But I definitely say um, if you needed some help with transitioning into school, 
I would say scheduling and prioritizing if you still want to work while you're in school maybe take some time off um proceed some advice that I would give is to take some time off when you're first starting like your first semester just so you can just get into the groove of school and then once you feel like you have your groove then maybe go back to work if your job allows that for you if not then I would just say like an agenda your phone keeping like a schedule will be like your best friend but honey if obama and beyonce can work with 24 hours in a day you can too so don't be discouraged i'm going to be using this nyx eyebrow pencil this is the micro brow pencil crayon and it's in the color espresso and to fill in my brows i'm going to be using this color pop um eyebrow dip pomade and this is in the color black brown so to start off i'm just gonna outline my brows on the bottom just following my natural brow line um and i just do this very lightly because i personally like my eyebrows to be nice and natural looking so yeah so i'm looking down here because this is where my mirror is at you know i can't look here and do it like perfectly and then I'm just gonna go over the top very lightly as well and just outline that. And that's just the outline. Do the same on the other side. My brows are sisters and not twins. So they're never gonna look like exactly the same. And just flip and embrace it. I'm just gonna do some light brush strokes upwards. So this is like the one tip that I really have to give. I don't know where I got this tip but you do strokes upwards in the same direction that your eyebrows grow. So if you find that your eyebrows grow sideways or anything like that, then try to follow the same direction that your eyebrows grow because this is what's just gonna help it look the most natural. So, um, another question was, how should people not let their friends distract them from getting your work done? So this one's honestly a really good one, especially when you have friends that aren't in the same classes or same program as you it can be hard because they may have a different workload at different times i would say like i mentioned earlier it's all about priorities um it's all about scheduling try to make sure that you have at least a set amount of time for studying and a set amount of time for chill because you all need to like relax at some point and get yourself together um just have some fun and breathe and woosa but at the same time, you still need to be like serious and study. Maybe sometimes just study alone so that you have no one to distract you. And then put your phone on do not disturb. I do this while I'm in class. Um, and right now I'm just going into the pomade with just a flat brush. This brush is by Still. Honestly, it's just from Walmart, nothing special. But I would just say to try to study alone sometimes, put your phone on do not disturb. Tell everyone you're really busy and you just have something to do. And then afterwards, link up with your friend. Um, and now I'm just filling in my brows, by the way. And brushing upwards, as I did with the strokes of the eyebrow pencil. And I don't like to do to the front too much. So I start like where my eyelashes start. And just keep going and brushing through with the rest of following my natural eyebrow line and the natural hairs but yeah that would be my best advice to try and not get your friends to distract you just know when it's there's a time and place for everything right so just know when it's time to have fun and then just know when it's time to get serious and actually get your work done brushing in lightly filling in upwards strokes as you can see like this just upward strokes and just following my natural brow line get it I think you get the gist of it. Another question I got was talk about the demands and pressures of school and whether or not being in a serious relationship throughout your academic career is a good idea. Shout out to my girl, Annalicia. She actually sent that question to me. So, girls, guys too, let's, let's really talk. Let's really have a, a serious conversation right now. But let me just let you know what I'm going to use to clean up my eyebrows first. Um, this is the LA Pro Girl Concealer, and this is in the color Fawn. Sound like a little, you know, YouTuber now. It's the real deal. This isn't too much lighter than my skin because I personally don't like the whole halo eyebrow look. So I'm just going to use a little just to clean up. Okay, so that question to 
amount of pressures of school. School can be very, very stressful. Like, very stressful. Just because, for example, at one point in time, I had my midterm exams um, for like biology, I had chemistry, then I had a child and youth care paper due, and I had another paper due, and I, it, it all at one time. And sometimes your deadlines are all like at the same time, like midnight Friday, everything is due, and you're just like, how do you expect me to do this? Please explain to me how. So, school in itself is very hard. As I mentioned before, a schedule, an agenda, prioritize. That is your best friend. So I'm just gonna be using this like flat, soft bristle brush. And this is by e.l.f. It's rubbed off, sorry. And I'm just gonna use that to blend in this concealer and clean up my brows. Um, so I'm gonna blend upwards at the front of my brow. And then underneath. And I drag the excess product down. So with all of the pressures of school, I find that a relationship can either be really helpful or it can be really detrimental. It honestly just depends on the type of person that you are and also the type of person that you're with. For example, if you are dating someone that is also in school or someone that's accomplished they also have responsibilities and priorities so they will un be understanding when it comes time to you having to do homework or you having to do certain things or not being able to be around for example if you were talking to someone that is just like living life or is just working they may not understand the demands and pressures, especially if they've never even been to school themselves. They may not understand, so they may get upset with you if you're not around all the time and stuff like that. And also it depends if you're in a healthy relationship or not. And this is to everyone's own personal discretion because you know what, I'm just cleaning up the top as well with just whatever's left on the brush, I'm not adding anything else. Um, everyone knows what they can and can't take everyone knows when their cup runneth over um so honestly i would say it's something to use to your personal discretion because you know what being in a relationship you can have someone that's really supportive um you that can person can be your safe place aside from your family someone that you can talk to about your stresses and certain things that you're going through in life in school it may also be a study partner someone that can help you understand certain things um but it can also be a distraction so just pick and choose and be careful of what type of relationship you're in and who you're in a relationship with at the end of the day you know what's best for you so just be smart and make smart decisions you know you hear me i hope that works for you i don't know it's a little advice so i'm just gonna go back in with the same pencil just to make sure that any place that the concealer may have touched um you can still see the hair so it doesn't look like i have a random ball patch I'm just fixing up the end to make sure because the ends of my eyebrows apparently don't want to grow in lately. So just to make sure they don't look like they're non-existent. That's my eyebrow tutorial. They're not perfect. They're really not. But when I just looked in the camera, I realized a little spot that I wanted to fix right over here. So I'm just going back in with the pencil. I'm telling you guys, I'm definitely not a makeup artist. I'm definitely not a pro. I just does this. Like I just do my makeup how I like and hope it comes out. So that's my eyebrows. Oh gosh, my phone's like blowing up right now. Do the rest of my face off camera because my SD card wants to act up and tell me that it doesn't want to film anymore. And of course it's Thanksgiving day, so there's nowhere I can even go and get an SD card stay tuned for the next video make sure to comment like and of course subscribe share the video with your friends okay and make sure you all watch it okay you better know but um thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye oh didn't even stop <laughs> like fail yeah.